Hi, I'm Jane Guilford and I'm a third year PT student. And I'm Caitlin Smith, a third year occupational therapy student. And we are going to give you a preview of the OT and PT student experiences here at Mary Baldwin University's Murphy Deming College of Health Sciences. First, we would like to share about the hands-on learning experiences our students participate in. Hands-on learning is embedded in our curriculum for OT, PT, and PA students through the interprofessional and profession-specific lab courses. During the OT and PT students' first year, they take an interprofessional lab course together in kinesiology where they learn how to do manual muscle testing and measure active and passive range of motion. Throughout their course of study, OT and PT students also learn similar skills such as how to transfer patients, how to use durable medical equipment such as canes and walkers, how to properly don personal protective equipment, and how to read and take vitals. Our OT and PT students also learn how to assess to use modalities such as electrical stimulation by practicing with multiple eSTEMS machines that we have in our lab spaces. To touch on some specifics for each profession, OT students have the opportunity to learn how to create splints and orthoses in our splint lab and get hands-on experience with adaptive equipment at the local Wilson Workforce and Rehabilitation Center. PT students have the opportunity to learn various gait training techniques and participate at labs at the local Augusta Health Recreation Center where they acquire skills in aquatic therapy. With our great location here in Augusta County, our students have the opportunity to work with many local community partners. We are right across the street from the Augusta Health Hospital System. Only a couple of minutes down the road is Wilson Workforce and Rehabilitation Center, as well as the Virginia School for the Deaf and Blind. Students participate with these local community partners through coursework, volunteer projects, and clinical rotations. The OT students take a technology and adaptations course at Wilson Workforce and Rehabilitation over the summer of their second year. The OT and PT students take an interprofessional lab course in their pediatrics class where many of our students partner with the Virginia School for the Deaf and Blind to create low-tech adaptive devices that will help VSDB students meet their educational needs. MDCHS is also close to the University of Virginia Hospital and Western State Psychiatric Hospital where students occasionally visit for a lab or volunteer opportunity. MDCHS students are passionate about serving their community. Volunteer hours are not required by the school, but each year the OT and PT cohort set a goal of collectively reaching the amount of volunteer hours based on their graduation year. For example, the OT and PT classes of 2021 both exceeded their goals of volunteering for at least 2,021 hours. The OT and PT departments also have their own traditions when it comes to volunteering. Every year on World OT Day, the OTs complete a volunteer project based on the World OT Day annual theme. On PT Day of Service, it is a tradition since the inaugural PT cohort for PT students to host a fall risk screening event for the local community's senior population. There are many opportunities to volunteer here in Augusta County and the class appointed volunteer chairs organize everything and encourage their peers to volunteer. There are several student organizations available at MDCHS as well. Phi Theta Epsilon is a nationally recognized organization for occupational therapy students who exemplify academic excellence. Our school has a PTE chapter for students in the top 10% of their class. Likewise, PT students who demonstrate academic achievement can apply to the National Physical Therapy Student Honor Society Delta Phi Tau. Our OT students also have the opportunity to join the Student Occupational Therapy Association, or SODA, in which they pay dues to go towards professional development events like hosting speakers or networking events. As part of SODA, OT students elect a board that will represent their cohort. Physical therapy students also elect a board to represent their cohort. These two boards occasionally work together to plan volunteer opportunities and host events such as formal. Both boards also work to provide fundraising opportunities to support the cohorts. As SOTA members, OT students can receive reimbursement for conference attendance through the money raised. PT students traditionally vote each year on what they would like to fundraise for, 
such as paying for their white coats or their national board exam study books. These organizations provide students with exceptional opportunities to practice leadership, engage in extracurricular activities, and develop professionally. It's important for our students to have the opportunity to participate in professional scholarship and advocacy. Murphy Deming supplies each student with a membership to their state and national association. Each year, we have OT students participating in the Virginia Occupational Therapy Association Conference and the American Occupational Therapy Association Conference. Similarly, we have PT students attending the American Physical Therapy Association's National Combined Sections Meeting and the Virginia Physical Therapy Association Conference. Students can choose to present research at these conferences with the support of faculty advisors. Our students also have the opportunity to advocate for their professions. Some of our OT students attend the American Occupational Therapy Association's annual Hill Day in, in Washington, D.C. to lobby for specific bills that would affect the profession. PT students participate in Virginia PT Lobby Day, where they also advocate and lobby for presented bills that could affect their profession. Between studying, volunteering, and participating in scholarship opportunities, our students also like to have fun at MDCHS. Our interprofessional community expands outside of the classroom. We have PT, OT, and PA traditions, such as formal, or doctoral prom as some students call it, pumpkin carving in the atrium around Halloween, and decorating cookies in the school's Christmas tree right before winter break. One of our students' favorite traditions is the Friendsgiving potluck meal we all share together in November. We also participate in Mary Baldwin University's oldest tradition, Apple Day. On this day, Mary Baldwin University students and staff give back to the local community through donating apples to the local food bank. From these annual traditions to Taco Tuesdays and interactions with MDCHS's therapy dog, Murphy, our students form a tight community. Our location in the beautiful Shenandoah Valley is easy to enjoy. Many of our students love our close proximity to the Shenandoah National Park and Blue Ridge Parkway where they can hike, catch a sunset from an overlook, or take a trip up the Skyline Drive. We are located close to Wintergreen in Massanutten Resorts where students enjoy skiing and other winter sports. In the summer, students explore many local rivers and swimming holes and can get away to the beach in just a few short hours. The close proximity to both Harrisonburg and Charlottesville also provides students with more options for entertainment, shopping, and dining. Rest assured, there is always something to do, whether it is trivia night at a local brewery, live music in downtown Waynesboro, or the annual Harry Potter Festival that takes place in downtown Stanton. We take pride in our commitment to student self-care and encourage students to explore all that the Shenandoah Valley and our region have to offer. We hope to see you soon. Thanks for joining us, and we hope to welcome you to the MBU family.